Jim Nelson as well. So a big thank you, of course, to all the families that have travelled some distance to be here. Um, awesome having you down here in the Deep South. Car number 12, Joshua McIntyre picked up a race win here last night. He's from Central Motor Speedway. 41, Leah Rowland, certainly a, a very good, fast young driver. Car number 32, Isabel Harris. First meeting here at Central Motor Speedway. Jackson Day came on her outside. Of course, the livery the same as Kane Lawson's Super Saloon. Cool looking car, green flag drops. Heat number one, the youth mini stocks here at Central Motor Speedway. Good battle down into that tight turn one and two. Jeff Coat on the outside. Nicholas Weir trying to find a way down the inside of Jeff Coat, but it's Jackson Hudos who's out in front at the moment. Vlanderen in behind him. Jeff Coat's managed to sneak back into that third place. Onto the main straight for the first time. Vlander in with a bit of a run down the inside here of Jackson Hudos. Jeff Coat buying into this one here now as well. Then Nicholas Weir. Then the 48 of Lockie Martin. McIntyre trying to find a way through. Car number 88, Jack Anderton. He's had a good start in this one here. He's up the inside of McIntyre at the moment. Evans behind them. So's Brooks. She's there as well. Car number 72. Connor's there in car number 15. Dakem, he's right there, trying to find a way through. He's a wee gap back, needs to get up into that uh, traffic there, try and work his way through. Of course, these cars are all powered by the little uh, Nissan or Datsun Motors, Toyota Motors, 1200cc. And it's Jackson Hudos, who's uh, escaped from the clutches of Vlanderen in this one here. He's managed to pull away. Got a decent gap there at the moment. 1.3 seconds last time around. The gap from first to second place. Leela Jeffco looking racy in this one here. All over the back of Vlanderen trying to close that gap. Marcel Vlanderen a little bit of high and wide coming out of turn number four. Roland working away through. Then we go back to uh, Anderton. Car 15, Connor Turner. He's next in the queue. Then we've got Brooks. McIntyre. Dakem's right there. Where? Car number 26, that's Oliver McCartney. He's trying to find his way through there as well. So, Hudos, through again, no surprise. Fastest lap of the race, Jackson Hudos. He's got clear air in front of him. Rollins has made a lot of ground here now as well. Comes out of turn number two onto the back straight. Can see Leela Jeffcoat and Marcel Vlanderen up in front of her. Good, clean driving so far in this one here. Heat number one for the youth mini stocks here at Central Motor Speedway. Of course, they are the future of our sport. Paige McNally just going past there at the moment. She's on the back bumper there of uh, car number 33. That's Jess Evans. White flag comes out. One more lap to go. Jackson Hudos, the real battle bow, starting to heat up for second, third, and fourth. Don't discount Connor here as well in car number 15. You could throw a blanket over them down there in turns one and two. It's Vlanderen in the front at the moment. Here comes Rollins down the outside and making a move late on Jeffcoat. They're side by side, pushing each other wide. Car 10, Jackson Hudos takes this one out. Well done, young man. Vlanderen home in second place. And we mentioned before that Connor Turner could be the benefit benefactor of uh, that battle happening down there. And he certainly was. He moved up into third place with Jeff Coat and Rollins just exchanging a bit of paint around turns three and four. Next in the queue was Emily Brooks, Jack Anderton, Jackson Dakem, Josh McIntyre. Well done. Jackson Hudos takes out race number two. The first one here for Youth Mini Stocks this afternoon at Central Motor Speedway. Ripping around these southern tracks. Been very cool to have you. Car number 42, Braden Williamson leads him around. Lockie Campbell Tate on his outside. Car number 72, that's Emily Brooks, starting on the second row of the grid. Car number 57 on her outside, that's Theo Vlanderen. Car number 14, out of Central Motor Speedway. Brooke Marshall, she's been a massive improver over the last few days in the youth mini stock grade. Green flag about to drop. Looks like Evans on the outside of Brooke Marshall. Eight laps of youth mini stock action here at Central Motor Speedway. 
And it's Williamson who'll lead them down to turns one and two. Lockie Campbell Tate in behind her, but a nice move by Brooks down on the inside. Gets a nice run out of two. Lockie Campbell Tate, of course, had a bit of a uh, tangle up here yesterday, so it put him out of the event. Look at McIntyre right around the outside. Car number 12, he's come from about uh, three quarters of the way down the pack, kept it pinned on the outside, and he's working his way through. He's got Paige McNally on his inside. Brooke Marshall, she finds a way through here as well. McIntyre again right around the outside of those cars. So car 12 now up into third place, chasing Williamson and Brooks. Another move on the outside for McIntyre. Can he take over the lead in this one here? They're three wide as they come round turns three and four. Brooks and Williamson are side by side, tapping away on each other there. They need to watch for car 12 on their outside. It is McIntyre right down the outside. Oh, there's a bit of uh, wall riding going on there between Hudos and uh, it looks like Marshall in car 14. Both cars managed to come away unscathed. Starting to get a little bit of uh, nudging, bit of pushing mid-pack here. They need to keep it clean. Race one was absolutely fantastic. They did a great job in that one there. But this one here, that just looks like a little bit of tension mid-pack there at the moment. McIntyre leads. Brooks on the inside. They come around turns three and four. Brooks now takes over the lead in this one here. Car number 59. Marcel Vlanderen, very good young fast driver. He's now up into third place. Then we go back to car 15, which is Connor Turner and Jackson Hudos next in the queue. Then it's Anderton, car number 88, great looking car. He's ahead of uh, Oliver McCartney. Then we've got Paige McNally, Leela Jeffcoat. So McIntyre, he was super fast at the start of this one here, but Brooks has reeled him back in. Vlanderen now up the inside of McIntyre, so he's dropped down to third place. Brooks, it's a freight train down there between three and four. Brooks, Vlanderen, and McIntyre. McIntyre has a look down low. Vlanderen on the outside. Brooks doing well. You can see the heads down, both hands up on the steering wheel. She means business. Comes out of turn number two. Oh, beautiful move by Hudos right up the inside there of both Turner and McIntyre. So he's now up to third place. He's the CTRA New Zealand champion for youth mini stocks. White flag comes out, one more to run. Vlanderen on the outside, Brooks the inside. Hudos is right there. Vlanderen now makes a move on the outside of Brooks, gets it done. It sticks, goes down the back straight. This is great racing here on the youth mini stocks. Vlanderen left it right to the last lap, but he got the job done on Brooks. And he's gonna take out race number two for youth mini stocks, car 59. Hudos is gonna get home in second place, car 10. And Brooks will settle for third place just ahead of Connor Turner, Joshua McIntyre, and then Anderton. But what a great race up front. It looked like McIntyre was going to run away with it. Vlanderen come from absolutely nowhere to get there. And massive credit, of course, to uh, Emily Brooks in car number 72. She absolutely stuck it there with the big guns in the youth mini stock grade. But your race winner, car number 59 from Woodford Glen Speedway in Christchurch, Marcel Vlanderen.